welcome back to our YouTube podcast, where we explore the fascinating landmarks and hidden gems around the world. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the beautiful Andrashi Avenue in Budapest. Strap in, because we're about to embark on a journey through history, culture, and stunning architecture. I'm your host, Humphrey as always. And let's dive right into it. Andrashi Avenue, also known as Andrasi Ut, is one of the most iconic and significant boulevards in Budapest, Hungary. Stretching over 2.5 kilometers, this avenue connects the city center with the city park, making it a hub of activity and a must-visit destination for locals and tourists alike. But what sets Andrashi Avenue apart from other streets? Let's find out. First and foremost, Andrashi Avenue is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2002, and it's easy to see why. It showcases a unique blend of architectural styles, primarily influenced by the late 19th century Neo-Renaissance and eclectic architectural movements. As you stroll down this avenue, you'll be captivated by the grandeur of the buildings that line its sides, each one telling a story of Budapest's rich past. Did you know that Andrashi Avenue was originally conceived as a solution to connect the city's expanding districts? Construction of the avenue began in 1872 and took nearly 20 years to complete. It was a visionary project, creating a grand thoroughfare that harmonized urban planning with architectural splendor. Today, Andrashi Avenue stands as a testament to this foresight and remains a symbol of Budapest's cultural heritage. Now, let's talk about some unique facts that make Andrashi Avenue truly special. One such feature is the historic Budapest Metro Line 1, also known as the Millennium Underground Railway. This line, built in 1896, was the first underground railway system in continental Europe. It runs directly beneath Andrashi Avenue, connecting major landmarks such as Heroes Square and the Hungarian State Opera House. Riding this historic metro line is like stepping back in time. Another notable landmark along Andrashi Avenue is the Hungarian State Opera House, a magnificent neo-Renaissance building that opened its doors in 1884. This architectural masterpiece hosts world-class performances and attracts opera enthusiasts from all over the globe. Even if you're not an opera fan, the sheer beauty of the building is worth experiencing. As you continue your journey down Andrashi Avenue, keep an eye out for the House of Terror Museum. Housed in a building that once served as the headquarters for the Nazi and Soviet secret police, this museum commemorates the victims of Hungary's dark past. It's a haunting reminder of the country's struggles and serves as a powerful educational resource for visitors. Now, let's touch on the avenue's vibrant atmosphere. Andrashi Avenue is not just a street. It's a hub of luxury and high-end shopping. The avenue is lined with upscale boutiques, international fashion brands, and elegant cafes, making it a shopper's paradise. Whether you're in search of designer labels or simply want to indulge in a cup of coffee while people watching, Andrashi Avenue has got you covered. Lastly, I can't forget to mention the beautiful tree-lined promenade that graces Andrashi Avenue. These majestic trees provide shade during the hot summer months and create a picturesque setting for a leisurely stroll. The combination of architectural splendor, historical landmarks, and natural beauty makes Andrashi Avenue a truly enchanting destination. That brings us to the end of our journey through Andrashi Avenue in Budapest. From its UNESCO World Heritage status to the historic metro line, iconic landmarks, and vibrant atmosphere, there's no doubt that Andrashi Avenue is a treasure trove of cultural significance and architectural wonders. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the wonders of Andrashi Avenue. We hope this virtual tour has inspired you to add Budapest to your travel bucket list. If you enjoyed this podcast, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.
welcome back to another exciting episode of Exploring the World's Greatest Shopping Destinations. I'm your host, Humphrey, and in today's podcast, we have something truly special in store for you. We're heading to the magnificent city of Budapest, Hungary, to explore the one-of-a-kind arena shopping mall. Get ready for a shop-tastic adventure, but before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss an episode. All right, let's get started. Budapest, known for its stunning architecture and rich history, is also home to a shopping destination that will leave you in awe. The Arena Shopping Mall, located in the heart of Budapest, is a retail paradise that caters to all your shopping desires. With its impressive size, diverse range of stores, and unique features, it's no wonder why the Arena Shopping Mall stands out among the rest. Let's start with the sheer size of this magnificent shopping mall. Covering a whopping 47,000 square meters of retail space, the Arena Shopping Mall is a true shopping extravaganza. Its impressive architecture is a blend of modern and contemporary design, creating a visually stunning experience for visitors. The mall's striking glass facade allows natural light to flood in, enhancing the overall ambience. Now, let's talk about what sets the Arena Shopping Mall apart from others in Budapest. One of its most unique features is the rooftop garden, providing a peaceful retreat amidst the bustling city. Imagine taking a break from shopping and relaxing in a serene environment, surrounded by greenery and enjoying panoramic views of Budapest. It's a hidden gem that offers a perfect escape from the retail hustle and bustle. When it comes to shopping, the Arena Shopping Mall has something for everyone. From luxury brands to popular international retailers and local boutiques, this mall caters to a diverse range of tastes and budgets. Whether you're a fashionista looking for the latest trends or a tech enthusiast searching for cutting-edge gadgets, you'll find it all here. And let's not forget about the mouth-watering dining options. The mall boasts an array of restaurants, cafes, and food courts, offering a delightful culinary experience that will satisfy any craving. The Arena Shopping Mall is not just about shopping and dining, it's a hub of entertainment and leisure activities. Movie lovers can catch the latest blockbusters at the state-of-the-art cinema complex, equipped with the latest audiovisual technology. For those seeking a bit of excitement, the mall houses a bowling alley and an indoor go-karting track, guaranteeing hours of fun for friends and families. With so much to do under one roof, boredom is simply not an option here. Now, let me share a fascinating fact about the Arena Shopping Mall. Did you know that it was opened in 2014 and was built on the site of the former Budapest Amusement Park? The mall's developers carefully preserved some elements of the amusement park's history, adding an extra touch of nostalgia to the shopping experience. Here's another interesting fact. The Arena Shopping Mall is conveniently connected to the Budapest Sports Arena, a popular venue for concerts and sporting events. This proximity allows visitors to enjoy a wide range of entertainment options in the same vicinity, making it a perfect destination for an unforgettable day out. And there you have it. The Arena Shopping Mall in Budapest is a retail haven that offers an unforgettable shopping, dining, and entertainment experience. Its impressive size, unique features like the rooftop garden, and diverse range of stores make it a must-visit destination for locals and tourists alike. So, if you ever find yourself in Budapest, be sure to pay a visit to this retail paradise. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment letting us know your favorite shopping mall. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting episodes of Exploring the World's Greatest Shopping Destinations. See you next time. Welcome back, opera lovers. I'm your host, Humphrey, and today we have an exciting episode lined up for you. If you're searching for the best opera experience in Budapest, Hungary in 2023, you've come to the right place. In this podcast, we'll be exploring the vibrant opera scene in Budapest, 
uncovering hidden gems, and sharing unique facts about the best opera houses in the city. So, let's dive right in. Our first stop on this operatic journey is none other than the Budapest Opera House, also known as the Hungarian State Opera. This architectural masterpiece stands tall in all its glory, and its grandeur is enough to leave you awestruck. Did you know that the Budapest Opera House was inaugurated in 1884? It boasts a rich history and has witnessed countless stunning performances over the years. Once you step inside, you'll be greeted by breathtaking interiors adorned with intricate frescoes and golden ornaments. The Budapest Opera House features a seating capacity of over 1,200, ensuring a memorable experience for every spectator. It's renowned for its outstanding acoustics, which enhances the magic of each performance, making it a must-visit destination for opera enthusiasts. Now, let's talk about the performances themselves. In 2023, the Budapest Opera House has an incredible lineup, featuring some of the most renowned operas and talented performers in the world. From classics like La Traviata and The Magic Flute, to lesser-known gems like The Spinning Room, the repertoire caters to a wide range of tastes and preferences. One unique fact about the Budapest Opera House is its commitment to showcasing local talent. The Hungarian State Opera takes great pride in nurturing young artists and often casts them in leading roles. This dedication to supporting emerging talent ensures that you'll witness fresh and exceptional performances that leave a lasting impression. Now, let's shift our focus to another prominent opera venue in Budapest, the Urkel Theatre. Although it might not be as famous as the Budapest Opera House, the Urkel Theatre is a hidden gem that deserves recognition. Named after the renowned Hungarian composer Ferenc Urkel, this theatre specialises in grand opera productions and can accommodate a larger audience. In 2023, the Urkel Theatre promises an unforgettable experience with its diverse programme. From Verdi's powerful, Aida, to Wagner's epic, Tristan und Isolde, the theatre offers a wide range of productions that will captivate opera lovers. What sets the Urkel Theatre apart is its dedication to reviving forgotten masterpieces, introducing audiences to lesser-known works that are a true delight to discover. As you step into the Urkel Theatre, you'll be enveloped by its elegant ambience and exquisite architecture. The theatre underwent a major renovation in recent years, enhancing its facilities and ensuring optimal comfort for its guests. With its state-of-the-art stage technology and impressive visual effects, the Urkel Theatre creates a mesmerizing atmosphere that transports you into the heart of each performance. So, whether you choose the Budapest Opera House or the Urkel Theatre, Budapest's opera scene in 2023 promises an unforgettable experience. From the grandeur of the Budapest Opera House to the hidden charm of the Urkel Theatre, these venues offer unique and diverse performances that will leave you spellbound. That brings us to the end of our exploration of the best opera experiences in Budapest, Hungary in 2023. Whether you're a seasoned opera goer or someone looking to dip their toes into this enchanting art form, Budapest has something to offer everyone. Don't miss the opportunity to immerse yourself in the world of opera in one of Europe's most culturally rich cities. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting opera content. Until next time, this is Humphrey signing off. Stay tuned for more incredible opera adventures. Hey there, welcome back to another exciting podcast of Buda Castle Budapest Hungary. I'm your host, Humphrey as always. Today we're taking a journey to the majestic Buda Castle in Budapest Hungary. But hold on tight because we're about to uncover some unique and mind-blowing facts about this incredible UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, grab your paprika-flavored popcorn and let's dive in. Let's start with a little history lesson. Did you know that Buda Castle has witnessed more plot twists than a soap opera? Seriously, this place has seen it all. It was first built way back in the 13th century and has been through fires, wars, and even a lightning strike. 
Talk about a castle with some serious resilience. Now, here's a mind-boggling fact for you. Can you believe that Buddha Castle was actually home to a zoo? Yeah, you heard that right. Back in the day, the castle housed a royal menagerie filled with exotic animals from all around the world. I guess the royals wanted to skip the long lines at the local zoo and have their own private safari. It's like having a pet dog, but instead, it's a pet giraffe named Jeffrey. Oh, the fancy life of the royals. Let's talk about the jaw-dropping size of Buddha Castle. Get ready to have your socks knocked off. This magnificent fortress stretches over 200 meters long and stands tall on a hill overlooking the Danube River. It's like the castle said, hey, I don't want to just sit on flat ground. I want a view. Talk about architectural ambition, am I right? Here's a fun fact that'll make you appreciate Buddha Castle even more. You know those iconic lion statues guarding the entrance? Well, those aren't just any ordinary lions. Rumor has it that these fierce felines were carved with a little mischief in mind. Legend says that the sculptor who created them was feeling a bit mischievous, so he gave the lions a pair of testicles made out of pure gold. Yep, that's right. These lions are not only ferocious protectors but also the kings of bling. Alright folks, now it's time for a quick pop quiz. What's the connection between Buddha Castle and wine? Any guesses? Well, hold on to your wine glasses because you're about to be amazed. Beneath the castle, there's a labyrinth of tunnels, and within those tunnels lies a secret wine cellar. Yes, you heard that correctly. They were thinking ahead, my friends. In case of a zombie apocalypse or a sudden shortage of wine, the castle had it covered. Now, that's what I call some serious planning. As we stroll through the enchanting grounds of Buddha Castle, it's impossible not to be captivated by its stunning architecture. But did you know that the castle we see today is actually a result of some major reconstructions? The original castle was nearly destroyed during World War II, but Budapest said, not on our watch. They meticulously reconstructed the castle, bringing back its former glory, brick by brick. It's like the castle went on a little vacation, got a makeover, and came back looking more fabulous than ever. Alright folks, it's time for our last mind-blowing fact about Buddha Castle. Brace yourselves because this one is truly extraordinary. Can you believe that Buddha Castle has its own funicular railway? Yes, you heard that right. If you're feeling a bit lazy after all the castle exploration, you can hop on this delightful little railway and enjoy a scenic ride up the hill. It's like a roller coaster ride for castle enthusiasts, without the loops and corkscrews. And there you have it my friends. We've reached the end of our journey through the captivating Buddha Castle in Budapest, Hungary. This magnificent fortress has witnessed centuries of history and surprises us with its unique quirks. So, next time you find yourself in the land of paprika and goulash, don't forget to pay a visit to this unforgettable UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's all for today's podcasts of Buddha Castle Budapest Hungary. If you enjoyed this podcast, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let me know in the comments below which castle or historical site you'd like me to explore next. Until then, keep exploring, keep laughing, and keep those travel tales alive. Welcome back, fellow travelers, to another exciting episode of Hidden Gems Around the World. I'm your host, Humphrey as always. And today we have an enchanting destination to explore together. Get ready to be captivated by the historical charm and picturesque beauty of Castle Garden in Budapest, Hungary. I promise you'll be amazed by the unique facts and hidden treasures we're about to unveil. So, let's dive right in. Before we dive into the fascinating details of Castle Garden, let's set the stage. Budapest, the vibrant capital of Hungary, is renowned for its rich history, stunning architecture, and thermal baths. Nestled on the banks of the majestic Danube River, this city has been a melting pot of cultures for centuries. 
and within its heart lies Castle Garden, a place that holds secrets from the past and offers an unforgettable experience for visitors today. Now, you might be wondering what makes Castle Garden so special. Well, let's start with a unique fact that will surely pique your interest. Did you know that Castle Garden, also known as Varket Bazor in Hungarian, was originally built as a royal garden and promenade in the mid-19th century? Yes, it was a place where the aristocracy could enjoy leisurely strolls, attend grand parties, and savor the breathtaking views of the city. As you wander through Castle Garden today, you'll find a harmonious blend of architectural styles, ranging from Neo-Renaissance and Neo-Gothic to Turkish-inspired elements. This eclectic mix creates a visually stunning atmosphere that's sure to leave you in awe. One of the most remarkable features of Castle Garden is its unique location. It sits right below the iconic Buddha Castle, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that looms above the garden, adding a touch of grandeur to the landscape. The juxtaposition of the meticulously manicured gardens against the rugged castle walls creates a picturesque setting that's a photographer's dream come true. Now, let's delve deeper into the garden itself. As you explore, you'll stumble upon a hidden gem known as the Grotto. This underground wonderland is a true marvel, with its intricately carved rock formations, cascading waterfalls, and mysterious atmosphere. It's a place where you can escape the bustling city and immerse yourself in a tranquil oasis of natural beauty. As you make your way through the garden, be sure to stop by the Dancing Fountain, a stunning spectacle that combines water, music, and light into a mesmerizing performance. During the summer months, the fountain comes alive with colorful displays and choreographed shows that will leave you spellbound. It's a must-see experience that brings joy to both locals and tourists alike. Another fascinating feature of Castle Garden is the recently restored bazaar. Originally designed as a market hall, it now houses a variety of cultural and artistic spaces, including art galleries, cafes, and exhibition halls. Here, you can immerse yourself in the vibrant local art scene, discover unique handicrafts, and savor the flavors of Hungarian cuisine. It's a hub of creativity and a perfect place to connect with the local culture. As we wrap up our journey through Castle Garden, I want to leave you with one final intriguing fact. Beneath the garden lies a hidden labyrinth, a network of tunnels and chambers that were once used for various purposes throughout history. From secret military operations to storing the crown jewels during World War II, this labyrinth holds the secrets of the past. Although not currently accessible to the public, the mere thought of its existence adds an air of mystery to Castle Garden. And there you have it, fellow travelers, our exploration of Castle Garden in Budapest, Hungary. From its royal origins to its enchanting grotto, dancing fountain, and vibrant bazaar, this hidden gem offers a truly unforgettable experience. So, the next time you find yourself in Budapest, Make sure to carve out some time to immerse yourself in the historical charm and natural beauty of Castle Garden. Until then, happy travels, and remember, the world is full of hidden gems just waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this virtual journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more exciting adventures. As always, if you have any suggestions for future episodes or want to share your own experiences at Castle Garden, feel free to leave a comment down below. Safe travels, everyone! Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of our travel podcast. I still remain your host, Humphrey, and today we have a special treat for all you adventure enthusiasts out there. We're going to dive into the heart of Europe and explore the magnificent city park in Budapest, Hungary. So, buckle up and get ready for a virtual journey you won't forget. Picture this, a sprawling green oasis right in the center of a bustling city, 
where history, culture, and nature converge. That's exactly what you'll find in City Park, Budapest's largest public park. But wait, there's more. Today, I'll reveal some unique facts about this park that will leave you amazed. So, let's jump right in. Our adventure begins with the rich history of City Park. Did you know that it was established in 1751, making it one of the first public parks in the world? Imagine strolling through its pathways, surrounded by centuries of stories woven into its very fabric. The park is home to numerous iconic landmarks that showcase Budapest's architectural beauty. One of the most impressive structures is Vidahanyad Castle. This architectural marvel is a mix of various architectural styles, from Romanesque to Gothic, and even Baroque. It's like stepping into a fairy tale. Now, let's shift our focus to the natural wonders that await you in City Park. Did you know that the park covers an expansive area of 302 acres? That's equivalent to around 230 football fields. It's no wonder you can find so much beauty and tranquility here. One of the highlights of the park is the serene and enchanting lake, known as Varislagetitu. It's not only a peaceful retreat for locals and tourists but also a popular spot for ice skating during the winter months. Can you imagine gliding on the ice, surrounded by stunning architecture? Beyond its famous landmarks and natural beauty, City Park holds some hidden gems that often go unnoticed. Have you heard of the Seichanyi Medicinal Bath? It's one of the largest medicinal bath complexes in Europe, boasting numerous thermal pools with healing properties. Talk about a rejuvenating experience. Another fascinating attraction is the Budapest Zoo and Botanical Garden, located within the park. It's one of the oldest zoos in the world and houses over 1,000 animal species. From adorable pandas to majestic lions, this zoo is a paradise for animal lovers of all ages. City Park isn't just about nature and architecture, it's also a hub of cultural experiences. One unique feature is the open-air theater, where various performances, concerts, and festivals take place throughout the year. Imagine enjoying a play or a live concert surrounded by lush greenery. Last but not least, let's talk about one of the most beloved Hungarian traditions, the Budapest City Park Christmas Market. During the holiday season, the park transforms into a festive wonderland, offering traditional food, handmade crafts, and a delightful atmosphere. It's a perfect way to immerse yourself in Hungarian culture and get into the holiday spirit. And there you have it, our journey through City Park, Budapest, has come to an end. We've explored its rich history, natural wonders, hidden gems, and cultural experiences. It truly is a treasure trove in the heart of Hungary's vibrant capital. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, history buff, or simply looking for a place to relax and unwind, City Park has something for everyone. So, when you find yourself in Budapest, make sure to visit this remarkable urban oasis. That's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our podcast for more exciting travel adventures from around the globe. Until next time, happy exploring. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of our travel podcast. Today, we have a real gem to discuss a magnificent architectural marvel that stands as a symbol of Hungary's rich history and cultural heritage. Get ready to embark on a virtual tour of the Hungarian Parliament Building. In this episode, we'll dive deep into the history, architecture, and fascinating facts surrounding this iconic landmark. So, let's get started. The Hungarian Parliament Building, located in Budapest, is an awe-inspiring sight that captures the imagination of all who lay their eyes upon it. Completed in 1904, this monumental structure has become one of the most popular tourist attractions in Hungary, and it's not hard to see why. Here's an interesting hook for you. 
Did you know that the Hungarian Parliament Building is the third largest parliament building in the world? Yes, you heard that right. This architectural gem spans an astonishing 18,000 square meters and boasts an impressive height of 96 meters. To put it into perspective, it's taller than the famous St. Stephen's Basilica. Now, let's take a step back in time and explore the history of this magnificent structure. The Hungarian Parliament Building was constructed during the reign of Austro-Hungarian Emperor Franz Joseph I. The construction lasted for 17 years, involving over a thousand workers, and it stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of its time. The architectural style of the Hungarian Parliament Building is a mesmerizing blend of Gothic Revival and Renaissance Revival elements. Its intricate facade, adorned with spires, arches, and statues, will leave you in awe. The building's grandeur is enhanced by its location on the banks of the Danube River, offering a picturesque view from various vantage points. Here's another fascinating fact. The Hungarian Parliament building consists of 691 rooms. Yes, you heard that correctly, 691 rooms. Among them, the most notable is the Hungarian Crown Jewels Exhibition, which houses the Holy Crown of Hungary, a symbol of the country's sovereignty. It's a true treasure trove of history and heritage. As you step inside the Parliament building, you'll be greeted by the grandeur of the main staircase, adorned with intricate details and beautiful stained glass windows. The interior is equally mesmerizing, with opulent halls, ornate chambers, and an impressive dome that lets natural light pour in, creating an ethereal atmosphere. Here's an intriguing tidbit. The Hungarian Parliament building played a crucial role in shaping Hungary's political landscape. It serves as the seat of the National Assembly, the country's legislative body, and witnessing the parliamentary sessions is a must-have experience for visitors. The iconic dome, with its intricate patterns and golden ornaments, forms a backdrop to the passionate debates and decision-making processes that shape Hungary's future. Before we wrap up our virtual tour, let's not forget about the stunning evening illumination of the Hungarian Parliament building. When night falls, the entire structure is bathed in a golden glow, creating a truly enchanting spectacle. It's no wonder that photographers, both professional and amateur, flock to capture this breathtaking sight. And that brings us to the end of our virtual tour of the Hungarian Parliament building. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through history, architecture, and culture. Remember, if you ever find yourself in Budapest, make sure to add this remarkable landmark to your itinerary. Trust us, it's an experience you won't want to miss. Thank you all for joining us today. If you liked this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel adventures. Until next time, happy exploring! back, folks. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of Budapest, Hungary, where a stunning architectural gem awaits us, the Fisherman's Bastion. Now, before you start picturing fishermen wearing medieval armor, let me assure you, this place is nothing short of a fairy tale fortress. So grab your fishing rods and get ready for a hilarious and informative adventure. Ah, Fisherman's Bastion, the name itself sounds like a medieval angler's paradise, right? Well, my friends, prepare to have your expectations turned upside down. Picture this, you're strolling along the banks of the mighty Danube River, when suddenly you stumble upon a whimsical structure that seems straight out of a Disney movie. That's the Fisherman's Bastion for you. Now, here's an interesting fact to get us started. The Fisherman's Bastion was actually built in the late 19th century. So, contrary to what its name suggests, it wasn't designed to house a bunch of fishermen. Instead, it served as a lookout tower, offering panoramic views of the beautiful city of Budapest. And trust me, the views are so breathtaking, they'll make you forget all about your fishing gear. But let's talk about the architecture, shall we? 
The Fisherman's Bastion boasts a unique blend of Gothic and Romanesque styles, making it a true feast for the eyes. Picture seven fairy tale like turrets rising into the sky, adorned with ornate spires and intricate stone carvings. It's like a castle straight out of a fantasy novel. And here's a fun fact for you. The Fisherman's Bastion was actually built to celebrate the thousand-year history of Hungary. No wonder it feels like stepping into a time machine. So, if you're ever in Budapest, make sure to grab your camera and strike a pose at this magical spot. Trust me, your Instagram followers will thank you. Now, let's talk about the mesmerizing details of the Fisherman's Bastion. As you explore the structure, you'll notice a series of gleaming white stone walls and staircases that seem to lead to secret passages. Just be careful not to get lost in this architectural maze, or you might end up in the kingdom of a fairy tale prince. Oh, and did I mention that the Fisherman's Bastion offers some of the best views in Budapest? From up there, you can gaze upon the majestic Hungarian Parliament building, the shimmering Danube River, and the iconic chain bridge. It's like having a front row seat to a picturesque symphony of beauty. Now, let me share a little secret with you. The best time to visit the Fisherman's Bastion is during sunrise or sunset. Picture this, the sky bathed in hues of orange and pink, the city below waking up or winding down, and you, standing atop the bastion, feeling like the ruler of your own little kingdom. It's a moment that will make your heart skip a beat, and your camera shutter go wild. And here's an CO friendly tip for all you travel enthusiasts out there. If you're planning a visit to Budapest, make sure to include Fisherman's Bastion in your itinerary. Not only will you have the opportunity to witness breathtaking views and capture incredible photos, but you'll also get a chance to explore the neighboring Matthias Church, a stunning piece of Gothic architecture that dates back to the 14th century. Two for the price of one, my friends. As we wrap up our journey through the whimsical world of Fisherman's Bastion, let's take a moment to appreciate the magic of this place. From its fairy tale like turrets to its panoramic vistas, it's no wonder that this architectural masterpiece has become one of Budapest's most beloved landmarks. So, my fellow adventurers, I hope you've enjoyed our humorous and informative escapade through the Fisherman's Bastion in Budapest, Hungary. Remember, when it comes to travel, Always keep your fishing rods ready, because you never know when you'll stumble upon a treasure like this. That's it for today, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more hilarious and informative travel adventures. Until next time, keep exploring, keep smiling, and keep making memories. everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our travel podcast. Today, we're going to embark on a virtual journey to one of the most captivating destinations in Hungary. That's right, we're going to explore the magnificent Gellert Hill in Budapest. So grab your headphones and get ready to uncover the secrets of this breathtaking landmark. Have you ever wondered where you can find a mesmerizing blend of history, natural beauty, and panoramic views? Well, look no further than Gellert Hill, located in the heart of Budapest. Rising 235 meters above the city, this hill holds a wealth of stories and unique features that make it an absolute must-visit for any traveler. But before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future travel adventures. Let's begin our journey by delving into the rich history of Gellert Hill. Named after St. Gerard, who was thrown from the hill by pagans, this iconic landmark has witnessed countless events that shaped Budapest's past. Throughout the centuries, Gellert Hill served as a strategic vantage point, offering commanding views of the city and playing a crucial role in the defense of Budapest. Did you know that Gellert Hill was once home to a network of natural caves? These caves were used as shelters and hospitals during World War II and played a vital role in protecting the local population during the intense bombings. 
One of the most prominent features atop Gellert Hill is the majestic citadella. Built by the Habsburgs in the mid-19th century, this fortress stands as a symbol of power and control. From its lofty perch, the citadella offers awe-inspiring panoramic views of Budapest, spanning from the iconic Parliament building to the stunning Danube River. Here's a fascinating fact for you. The citadella has had various roles throughout history. It has served as a military stronghold, a prison, and even a tourist attraction. Today, it stands as a monument to Hungary's resilience and independence. As we descend from the citadella, let's explore another hidden gem on Gellert Hill, the Gellert Hill Cave Church. Carved into the hillside, this unique church boasts an ethereal atmosphere and a captivating history. It's a place where spirituality meets the ancient natural surroundings, creating a truly enchanting experience. Did you know that the Gellert Hill Cave Church was originally discovered in the 1920s? During the Turkish occupation, the caves were walled up and forgotten for centuries until their accidental rediscovery. Today, visitors can marvel at the stunning rock formations and intricate religious artwork within this sacred space. Beyond its historical and cultural significance, Gellert Hill is a haven for nature lovers. The hillside is adorned with lush greenery, providing a tranquil escape from the bustling city below. Taking a leisurely walk along the hill's pathways will reward you with breathtaking vistas and an invigorating sense of serenity. Here's an interesting fact. Gellert Hill is home to over 70 species of plants and numerous wildlife inhabitants, including squirrels and diverse bird species. It's a true testament to Budapest's commitment. Finally, our journey on Gellert Hill would not be complete without mentioning the iconic Statue of Liberty. Erected in 1947 to commemorate the liberation of Hungary from Nazi occupation, this monumental statue stands tall and proud, symbolizing freedom and resilience. Fun fact, the Statue of Liberty on Gellert Hill is often mistaken for its counterpart in New York City. Designed by the same sculptor, they both exude a sense of strength and unity, albeit in different cultural contexts. As we conclude our podcast on Gellert Hill in Budapest, we hope you've been inspired to add this remarkable destination to your travel bucket list. With its historical significance, breathtaking views, and natural beauty, Gellert Hill offers an unforgettable experience for every visitor. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow travel enthusiasts. And remember, if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy exploring! back to our channel, where we explore fascinating historical landmarks around the world. In today's podcast, we have an incredible destination to share with you, the Great Jewish Synagogue in Budapest, Hungary. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the rich history and unique features of this magnificent synagogue. I'm your host, Humphrey and let's get started. The Great Jewish Synagogue, also known as the Doorny Street Synagogue, is a true gem nestled in the heart of Budapest. It is the largest synagogue in Europe and the second largest in the world, with a seating capacity of up to 3,000 people. But what makes this synagogue truly special are the stories and unique facts associated with its existence. Did you know that the Great Jewish Synagogue holds a fascinating record? It is not only a place of worship but also a symbol of resilience and strength for the Hungarian Jewish community. So, let's dive into some of the remarkable facts that make this synagogue a must-visit destination. The Great Jewish Synagogue dates back to the mid-19th century when it was constructed in the Moorish Revival style, characterized by its intricate architectural details and stunning interior design. It stands as a testament to the vibrant Jewish culture that thrived in Budapest during that period. As you approach the synagogue, you'll be mesmerized by its grandeur. 
The exterior features a blend of Islamic and Gothic elements, with soaring towers and beautifully adorned facades. The interior is equally breathtaking, with its stunning organ, ornate decorations, and a magnificent central nave. One of the most iconic features of the great Jewish synagogue is the Tree of Life, a memorial created by artist Imre Varga. This sculpture stands in the synagogue's courtyard and serves as a tribute to the victims of the Holocaust. Its silver leaves bear the names of those who perished, and it serves as a solemn reminder of the horrors of the past. Adjacent to the synagogue, you'll find the Jewish Museum, which houses a vast collection of artifacts showcasing the rich heritage of Hungarian Jews. From ancient religious manuscripts to ceremonial objects, the museum offers a glimpse into the traditions and history of the Jewish community in Hungary. Another significant aspect of the Great Jewish Synagogue Complex is the Raoul Wallenberg Memorial Park. Dedicated to the Swedish diplomat who saved thousands of Hungarian Jews during World War II, this serene park provides a space for reflection and remembrance. Here's an intriguing fact. The famous composer Franz Liszt played the organ during the synagogue's inauguration in 1859. This unique connection adds an extra layer of cultural significance to the great Jewish synagogue. Now that we've explored some of the fascinating facts about the great Jewish synagogue, let's take a moment to appreciate its enduring importance and the lessons it teaches us. The great Jewish synagogue not only serves as a spiritual center for the Jewish community in Budapest, but also stands as a symbol of resilience, unity, and hope. It survived the horrors of World War II, during which the Jewish population in Hungary faced immense persecution. Today, it stands proudly as a reminder of the strength and determination of the Hungarian Jewish community. As we conclude our journey through the great Jewish synagogue in Budapest, let's take a moment to appreciate the historical and cultural significance of this remarkable landmark. Its architectural splendor, its commemorative sculptures, and its rich collections all come together to create an unforgettable experience for visitors. Remember, whether you're exploring its magnificent interiors, paying respects at the Tree of Life, or delving into the Jewish Museum's treasures, the Great Jewish Synagogue will leave an indelible mark on your heart and mind. Thank you for joining us on this podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating episodes like this one. Until next time, keep exploring the world's wonders. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting podcast of Exploring Europe's Hidden Gems. I'm your host, Humphrey, and today we're diving into the vibrant and mouthwatering world of the Great Market Hall in Budapest, Hungary. Get ready to immerse yourself in a delightful fusion of history, culture, and delicious treats. But before we jump in, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an episode of our mouthwatering adventures. All right, let's get this show on the road. Nestled in the heart of Budapest, the Great Market Hall stands tall, ready to woo your senses with its enticing aromas and vibrant atmosphere. Also known as Nagy Vasorksanok, in Hungarian, this architectural marvel has been serving as the city's food hub since 1897. Fun fact, it's so massive that it can easily fit a herd of hungry elephants inside. As you step foot into the Great Market Hall, be prepared to be mesmerized by the symphony of colors and sounds that greet you. The bustling market is a delightful feast for the eyes, with rows upon rows of neatly stacked fruits and vegetables, aromatic spices, and charming Hungarian crafts. It's like stepping into a real-life kaleidoscope of flavors. Calling all foodies, the Great Market Hall is your paradise on earth. Whether you're craving traditional Hungarian delicacies or eager to sample international treats, this place has got you covered. From hearty goulash and savory langosh to delectable chimney cakes and refreshing Hungarian wines, your taste buds are in for an adventure. Now, let's spice things up with some unique facts about the great market hall that will make your friends go, wow, tell me more. Fact 1. 
Did you know that the Great Market Hall was designed by Gustav Eiffel's disciple? That's right, this grand building was brought to life by one of the masterminds behind the Eiffel Tower. No wonder it's such a beauty. Fact 2. If you're a fan of souvenirs, you'll be delighted to know that the Great Market Hall is home to the largest selection of Hungarian paprika in the world. Take your pick from the mild, the hot, and everything in between. Warning. Don't go too crazy or you might end up breathing fire like a Hungarian dragon. Fact 3. For the health-conscious folks out there, the Great Market Hall has got your back. You'll find a wide range of organic and locally sourced products, ensuring that you can shop guilt-free while supporting local farmers. It's a win-win for your taste buds and the environment. Alright folks, it's time for some insider tips and tricks to make the most of your visit to the Great Market Hall. Tip 1. Arrive early in the morning to beat the crowds and get first dibs on the freshest produce. Plus, you'll have more time to chat with the friendly vendors and learn their secrets to making the perfect langosh. Tip 2. Don't forget to haggle. It's a part of the market culture, and you might just score some fantastic deals on spices, handmade crafts, or even traditional Hungarian clothing. Just make sure to bring your A-game negotiation skills. Well folks, our time together at the Great Market Hall is coming to an end. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast of Budapest's Gastronomic Wonderland. Remember, if you ever find yourself in Hungary, make sure to put the Great Market Hall on the top of your must-visit list. Alright, that's all for today's. If you enjoyed our podcasts, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And remember to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on our upcoming episodes. Until next time, stay hungry and keep exploring. back to another exciting episode of our YouTube podcast. Today, we're diving into the rich history and captivating beauty of Heroes Square in Budapest. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover fascinating facts and secrets about this iconic landmark. I'm your host, Humphrey as always. And let's get started. Before we delve into the unique facts about Heroes Square, let's set the stage. Located in the heart of Budapest, Hungary, Heroes Square, or Hosok Terra, in Hungarian, is a magnificent public square that pays tribute to the country's most significant historical figures and events. Did you know that Heroes Square is not just a square but also a symbol of national pride and unity? Its grandeur and the stories it tells make it a must-visit destination for tourists and locals alike. Now, let's uncover some intriguing facts about this remarkable landmark. Our first fact revolves around the historical significance of Heroes Square. It was built in 1896 to celebrate the thousandth anniversary of the arrival of the Hungarians in the Carpathian Basin. The square serves as a testament to the nation's vibrant history and the heroes who shaped it. At the heart of Heroes Square stands the iconic Millennium Monument, an imposing structure that demands attention. This monument is a captivating ensemble of statues and columns, showcasing Hungary's most influential leaders, kings, and notable historical figures. The centerpiece of the monument is the Archangel Gabriel, holding the Hungarian crown and the Holy Crown of Hungary. Heroes Square is home to numerous statues that hold deep symbolism. On one side, you'll find statues representing the seven chieftains who led the Hungarian tribes to the Carpathian Basin. On the other side, you'll find statues. One of the most solemn and revered parts of Heroes Square is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It serves as a memorial for soldiers who lost their lives in defense of the nation. The eternal flame at the tomb symbolizes the everlasting gratitude Hungarians have for their fallen heroes. Heroes Square not only impresses with its grand monuments but also offers a wealth of cultural experiences. Located on either side of the square, you'll find the Museum of Fine Arts and the Hall of Art. These institutions over the years, 
Heroes Square has been a central location for various cultural events and celebrations. From national holidays to concerts and festivals, this square has witnessed countless gatherings that bring the Hungarian community together. The open space and grandeur of Heroes Square provide the perfect backdrop for these joyous occasions. Now that we've explored these fascinating facts about Heroes Square, it's time to wrap up our podcast. But before we go, let's recap what we've learned. Heroes Square in Budapest is more than just a square. It's a symbol of Hungarian pride and unity. From its historical significance to the iconic Millennium Monument and the symbolic statues, every aspect of Heroes Square tells a unique story. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier reminds us of the sacrifices made by brave soldiers, and the surrounding museums and cultural institutions offer a deeper insight into Hungarian heritage. Finally, this magnificent square serves as a gathering place for celebrations, fostering a sense of community and shared joy. As we conclude our journey through Heroes Square, we hope you've gained a newfound appreciation for this remarkable landmark. Whether you're planning a trip to Budapest or simply exploring it virtually, make sure to include Heroes Square on your itinerary. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this podcast, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, keep exploring and uncovering the wonders of the world. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to the Everything Budapest and Hungary, the channel where we explore the quirkiest and most fascinating destinations around the world. I'm your host, Humphrey Chike, and today we're diving into a hidden gem that's sure to leave you stunned. Get ready, because we're taking you on a wild ride through the hospital in the rock in Budapest, Hungary. Budapest, the city of stunning architecture, breathtaking views, and the best pastries you'll ever taste. But did you know that beneath this beautiful city lies a secret that will blow your mind? That's right, my friends, the Hospital in the Rock, also known as the Margit Hospital, is a marvel tucked away beneath the streets of Budapest. So, what's the deal with this place? Well, let me tell you, it's not your average hospital. It was originally built as a nuclear bunker during World War II and later transformed into a fully functional hospital during the Cold War. Talk about multitasking. Now, here's a unique fact that will make your jaw drop. The hospital in the rock was built within a natural cave system. Imagine going for a regular checkup and ending up inside a cave. I guess you could say they take the whole, underground, healthcare concept quite seriously. One of the most fascinating aspects of this hospital is the way it was designed to withstand all sorts of threats. It's equipped with a state-of-the-art ventilation system, radiation-proof walls, and even a decontamination room. Now, that's what I call prepared for anything. But wait, there's more. During the siege of Budapest in 1944-45, the hospital in the Rock played a crucial role in saving lives. The medical staff worked tirelessly to treat the wounded, even as bombs were dropping above them. Talk about dedication. Now, let's talk about some of the fascinating exhibits you can explore when you visit this incredible underground marvel. One section showcases the actual operating rooms, complete with old-school surgical equipment. Trust me, you'll be grateful for modern medicine after seeing those tools. Oh, and here's a fun fact. The hospital in the rock even has a chapel inside. Yes, that's right, folks. They made sure to cater to the spiritual needs of the patients, just in case they needed some divine intervention. I guess they believed in the saying, a prayer a day keeps the doctor away. Now, let's talk about the spooky side of this place. Legend has it that the hospital in the rock is haunted by the ghosts of those who perished during its dark days. Some visitors claim to have heard strange noises and witnessed eerie figures lurking in the shadows. So, if you're up for a thrill, this is the place to be. Before we wrap up, folks, 
Don't forget to check out the incredible collection of wartime artifacts and interactive displays. They give you a glimpse into the history and challenges faced during those turbulent times. It's a true time capsule that'll leave you in awe. Well, that's all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed this wild adventure through the hospital in the rock in Budapest, Hungary. It's a place where history and healthcare collide in the most unexpected way. Thanks for joining us on the Everything Budapest and Hungary podcast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below with your favorite hidden gems around the world. Until next time, keep exploring, keep laughing, and keep wandering. back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are delving into a chilling and captivating topic, the House of Terror Museum in Budapest. Join us as we unlock the doors to a dark chapter in Hungary's history and discover the secrets that lie within this haunting establishment. I guarantee you, by the end of this podcast, you'll be itching to visit the House of Terror Museum yourself. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the unique facts about the House of Terror Museum, let's set the stage by understanding its historical significance. This museum, located at Andrasi Ut 60 in Budapest, holds a dark past that is closely tied to Hungary's tumultuous past during the 20th century. The House of Terror Museum stands as a memorial to the victims of both the Nazi and Soviet regimes that occupied Hungary. Housed within the very walls that were once the headquarters of the fascist Arrow Cross Party and later the Soviet secret police, this building witnessed the horrors and tragedies experienced by countless innocent people. Now, let's dive into some unique and fascinating facts about the House of Terror Museum that will make your jaw drop. The House of Terror Museum's architectural design is a captivating aspect in itself. The facade of the building, with its somber grey exterior, portrays a sense of foreboding. The statues of the building's grim history carved into the stone walls instantly transport you to a different era. Deep within the museum lies an eerie reminder of the horrors that took place within these walls. The basement, once used as a prison, still bears the marks of its dark past. Visitors can explore the chilling cells and experience the palpable atmosphere that once tormented those imprisoned here. The House of Terror Museum features a wide range of exhibits that provide a detailed account of Hungary's past. From personal belongings of victims to audiovisual presentations, the museum showcases the oppressive regime's methods, propaganda, and the courageous resistance of those who fought for freedom. As you exit the museum, you'll come across the Memorial Wall, a solemn reminder of the countless lives lost during this tumultuous period. The wall is adorned with the names of victims, serving as a tribute to their memory and a powerful symbol of remembrance. Now that we've explored some unique facts about the House of Terror Museum, you might be wondering how you can plan your visit and experience this chilling journey for yourself. Here are a few tips and recommendations. The House of Terror Museum is a popular attraction, so it's advisable to plan your visit in advance to avoid long queues. Check their official website for opening hours, ticket prices, and any special exhibitions or events that might be happening during your visit. To make the most of your visit, consider taking a guided tour. Knowledgeable guides will provide deeper insights into the exhibits, historical context, and personal stories related to the museum. This way, you'll gain a richer understanding of Hungary's dark past. As we wrap up this podcast, it's essential to reflect on the House of Terror Museum's significance. This museum serves as a reminder of the atrocities committed during the Nazi and Soviet regimes, ensuring that future generations never forget the importance of freedom and human rights. That brings us to the end of today's podcast. I hope you found our exploration of the House of Terror Museum both informative and intriguing. If you have any other suggestions for future topics, be sure to leave them in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Hello, fellow travelers and welcome to another exciting podcast of Exploring the Unexplored. Today, we're heading to the heart of Europe, the charming city of Budapest, to uncover a hidden gem that goes by the name of Margaret Island. Trust me, folks, you're in for a wild ride packed with unique facts, stunning sights, and of course, a dash of humor. Now, before we dive into the secrets of Margaret Island, Let's start with an interesting hook that will make you want to hop on the next plane to Hungary's capital city. Did you know that Margaret Island is an oasis in the middle of the mighty Danube River? That's right, folks. This 2.5 kilometer long island is like a tiny paradise floating right in the heart of Budapest. Talk about a unique escape. Now, you might be wondering who this Margaret is and why she has an entire island named after her. Well, let me enlighten you, my curious friends. Margaret Island is named after Saint Margaret of Hungary, a 13th century princess who spent most of her life in a Dominican convent on this very island. It's quite an honor to have an entire island dedicated to you, don't you think? I wouldn't mind having one named after me someday. ChatGPT Island has a nice ring to it, don't you agree? Okay, back to Margaret Island. This little slice of heaven is not just a park or a picnic spot. Oh no, it's much more than that. One of the most fascinating things about this island is its musical fountain. Now, this isn't your average, run-of-the-mill fountain, my friends. No, no, this fountain dances to the beat of music. Picture this, jets of water soaring into the air, twirling and spinning, all choreographed perfectly to a symphony of sound. It's like a water ballet on steroids. Now, here's a pro tip for all you nature lovers out there. Margaret Island is home to a lush Japanese garden, and let me tell you, it's absolutely breathtaking. The garden was a gift from Japan to Hungary, and it's a serene oasis where you can escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Strolling through the peaceful paths, you'll find yourself surrounded by blooming cherry trees, tranquil ponds, and even a picturesque wooden bridge. It's like stepping into a Zen paradise, right in the heart of Budapest. But wait, there's more. Margaret Island is also home to one of the oldest and most charming musical theatres in Hungary. The Water Tower Theatre, as the name suggests, is a theatre located within a tower that overlooks the island. And here's the kicker. It's actually built on the ruins of a medieval Dominican church. Talk about a unique blend of history and entertainment. Now that's what I call, dinner and a show. All right, my fellow adventurers, we've covered the highlights, but I can't let you go without mentioning one more fascinating fact about Margaret Island. Are you ready? Brace yourselves. Margaret Island is said to be a hotspot for energy vortexes. Yes, you heard that right. It's believed that there are certain spots on the island where the energy is so powerful that it can give you a spiritual boost. So, if you're feeling a bit low on energy, just head over to Margaret Island and let those good vibes flow. And there you have it, folks. Margaret Island, Budapest's hidden oasis, packed with history, beauty, and a sprinkling of mystical energy. I don't know about you, but I'm already planning my next trip to this enchanting island. Remember, folks, the world is full of surprises, and there's always something new to explore. Until next time, Keep wandering, keep laughing, and keep exploring the unexplored. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting podcast of Matthias Church Budapest, Hungary. I'm your host, Humphrey as always. Today we have something truly extraordinary to share with you.
we're diving headfirst into the enchanting city of Budapest, Hungary, to uncover the secrets and marvels of the legendary Matthias Church. Get ready for a wild ride full of humor, knowledge, and a sprinkle of that Hungarian charm. Let's kick off this Hungarian adventure with the crown jewel of Budapest, Matthias Church. Now, you might be wondering, who the heck is this Matthias and why does he have a church named after him? Well, brace yourselves for a mind-blowing fact. Matthias Church isn't actually named after some saint or clergyman, but rather a king. Yup, you heard it right. King Matthias Corvinus, to be precise. King Matthias was quite the character, known for his love of arts, literature, and architecture. So, it's only fitting that Budapest paid tribute to this legendary ruler by naming one of its most iconic landmarks after him. Now let's talk about the sheer beauty of Matthias Church. This stunning architectural masterpiece is a blend of various styles, from Gothic to Renaissance, with a dash of Ottoman influence thrown in. Talk about a melting pot of history. But hold on tight, because we're about to dive into some incredible secrets lurking inside these ancient walls. Picture this, you walk into Matthias Church, and suddenly, you find yourself surrounded by breathtaking stained glass windows that seem to glow like colorful kaleidoscopes. Trust me, it's like stepping into a fairy tale. And you know what? Legend has it that these very windows were actually created by the renowned Hungarian artist, Mixer Roth, who happened to be colorblind. Talk about defying the odds. Brace yourselves folks, because we're about to uncover some hidden gems and treasures within Matthias Church that will leave you in awe. Now, pay close attention, because I'm about to drop some serious knowledge bombs. Did you know that hidden beneath the church lies a secret crypt? where Hungarian kings were once laid to rest. Yes, you heard me right. This crypt, which was rediscovered during the church's restoration, is like a time capsule, taking us back centuries to witness the grandeur of Hungarian history. But wait there's more, legend has it that the legendary holy right hand of Saint Stephen, the first king of Hungary, is preserved within the church. Now, I'm not saying it grants you magical powers or anything. But hey, you never know until you try, right? Get ready to be blown away by one of the most extraordinary musical instruments in the world, the mesmerizing organ of Matthias Church. This beauty has over 7,000 pipes and is capable of producing sounds that will transport you to another dimension. Trust me, it's a true auditory feast. And here's a fun fact for you. The organ's restoration in the 1980s took a staggering 11 years to complete. That's longer than some marriages. But boy, was it worth the wait. This magical instrument is a true testament to human craftsmanship and ingenuity. And there you have it folks. The marvelous Matthias Church in all its glory. From its captivating history to its hidden treasures and stunning architecture, this place has it all. Whether you're a history enthusiast, an art lover, or just someone seeking a surreal experience, Matthias Church will leave an indelible mark on your soul. Well that wraps up our Hungarian adventure for today. I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Matthias Church as much as I did. Remember folks, keep exploring, keep discovering, and most importantly, keep being curious. Until next time, this is Humphrey signing off. Stay awesome, my friends. back, everyone, to another exciting episode of our travel series. Today, we're diving into the rich history and architectural marvel that is St. Stephen's Basilica. Nestled in the heart of Budapest, Hungary, this stunning basilica has captivated visitors for over a century. I'm your host, Humphrey, and in today's episode, we'll take you on a virtual tour of this magnificent landmark, uncovering its unique facts and secrets along the way. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's embark on this journey together. Before we delve into the fascinating details, 
Let's start with a brief overview. St. Stephen's Basilica, or Centis van Basilica as it's known in Hungarian, is named after the first king of Hungary, St. Stephen. Construction of this architectural gem began in 1851 but was only completed in 1905 due to various setbacks. Standing at an impressive height of 96 meters, 315 feet, it proudly dominates the Budapest skyline, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the city. Now, let's uncover some unique and lesser-known facts about St. Stephen's Basilica that make it truly special. Did you know that the Basilica houses the holy right hand of St. Stephen himself? Yes, you heard it right. The preserved right hand of Hungary. As we step inside, prepare to be amazed by the sheer grandeur and intricate details of the Basilica's interior. The main altar, adorned with beautiful frescoes and golden ornaments, serves as the centerpiece of this spiritual haven. Take a moment to gaze up at the breathtaking dome, which reaches a height of 96 meters, matching the exterior's impressive stature. It's hard not to feel a sense of awe and reverence in this magnificent space. While the basilica's construction is undoubtedly a feat of engineering, it also has an interesting backstory. During World War II, the basilica was severely damaged, particularly its southern tower, which collapsed entirely. It took several decades to reconstruct the damaged parts, but the basilica emerged stronger and more majestic than ever. Aside from its architectural wonders, St. Stephen's Basilica offers visitors an opportunity to experience a breathtaking panoramic view of Budapest. If you're feeling adventurous, Climb the 364 steps to the observation deck of the dome. The effort is undoubtedly worth it, as you'll be greeted with a bird's eye view of the Hungarian capital, with the Danube River, the Parliament Building, and other iconic landmarks stretching out before your eyes. Music lovers, rejoice! St. Stephen's Basilica is home to one of the largest and most impressive organs in Europe. With its 8,000 pipes and exquisite craftsmanship, this musical masterpiece has become renowned for its remarkable sound. Throughout the year, the Basilica hosts organ concerts, allowing visitors to appreciate the instrument's power and beauty in a truly awe-inspiring setting. As the sun sets over Budapest, St. Stephen's Basilica transforms into a mesmerizing spectacle of lights. The Basilica's facade and dome are gracefully illuminated creating a magical atmosphere that attracts both locals and tourists alike. Be sure to visit during the evening hours to witness this enchanting display and capture some stunning photographs. St. Stephen's Basilica not only serves as a spiritual sanctuary but also as a vibrant cultural hub. The square in front of the basilica hosts various events, including festivals, open-air concerts, and even ice skating rinks during the winter season. It's a gathering place where locals and visitors can come together, creating a lively atmosphere that truly embodies the spirit of Budapest. And that concludes our today's podcast on St. Stephen's Basilica. We've explored its rich history, marveled at its architectural wonders, and discovered some unique facts that make it a must-visit destination. Whether you're an architecture enthusiast, a history buff, or simply seeking a spiritual experience, this basilica has something to offer everyone. Remember, if you ever find yourself in Budapest, make sure to set aside some time to visit St. Stephen's Basilica. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Until next time, safe travels, and keep exploring the wonders of our world. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel. Welcome back to another episode of Travel Adventures Unveiled. I'm your host, Humphrey as always. And in today's episode, we have an exciting destination to explore. We're going to dive into the rich history and fascinating facts about the iconic Sejcsányi chain bridge in Budapest, Hungary. If you're a history enthusiast or simply curious about magnificent landmarks, you're in for a treat. So let's get started. The Sejcsányi chain bridge, 
also known as the Seichanyi Launchid, holds a special place in the hearts of Budapest's residents and visitors alike. It's a testament to the city's architectural brilliance and a symbol of its vibrant history. This impressive bridge stretches across the mighty Danube River, connecting the western and eastern parts of Budapest. Now, let's unravel some intriguing facts about this historic masterpiece. Our first fact takes us back to the bridge's inception. Did you know that the Seichanyi Chain Bridge was the first permanent bridge to span the Danube River in Budapest? Before its construction, crossing the river was a considerable challenge, relying on ferry services that were greatly affected by weather conditions. Opening in 1849, the chain bridge forever changed the city's landscape, making travel and commerce more convenient. Here's a fascinating fact that often surprises visitors. The Seichanyi Chain Bridge was designed by an English engineer named William Tierney Clark. Yes, you heard that right. Despite its Hungarian heritage, the bridge's original design came from abroad. Clark's innovative engineering skills and his experience with similar projects, such as the Marlow Bridge in England, brought this architectural marvel to life. Now, let's talk about one of the most remarkable aspects of the Seichanyi Chain Bridge, its original construction materials. Back in the 19th century, wrought iron was the material of choice for constructing this iconic bridge. However, during World War II, the bridge suffered severe damage, and in its restoration, steel replaced the original wrought iron. Today, the Seichanyi Chain Bridge stands tall, boasting a blend of historic charm and modern durability. Brace yourself for another interesting fact, the Seichanyi Chain Bridge played a crucial role in Hungary's history. During the 1956 Hungarian Revolution against Soviet oppression, the bridge served as a significant strategic point. The revolutionaries fought to hold their ground and protect this symbol of national unity. It's a powerful reminder of the resilience and determination of the Hungarian people. Did you know that the Seichanyi Chain Bridge offers more than just a stunning view? Beneath its grandeur lies a hidden secret. The bridge houses a small chapel dedicated to Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, also known as Saint Elizabeth of Thuringia. This hidden gem serves as a tranquil sanctuary, offering a peaceful escape from the bustling cityscape for those who discover it. As we come to the end of our exploration, here's an intriguing fact about the Seichanyi Chain Bridge. It has witnessed its fair share of events and ceremonies over the years. From grand fireworks displays on New Year's Eve to spectacular light shows during national celebrations, the bridge continues to be a captivating stage for remarkable moments in Budapest's history. And there you have it. The Seichanyi Chain Bridge in Budapest is not just a bridge, but a symbol of the city's resilience, architectural prowess, and historical significance. It's a must-visit destination for anyone exploring Budapest, whether you're fascinated by engineering marvels or simply want to immerse yourself in the city's captivating ambience. Thank you for joining us on this virtual journey through the Seichanyi Chain Bridge Budapest. We hope you enjoyed discovering these unique facts about this iconic landmark. If you found this podcast informative and entertaining, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel adventures. Until next time, happy travels. Fellow Bath Enthusiasts, welcome back to another episode of Soak and Joke, the podcast where we dive deep into the world of hot springs, steamy saunas, and all things relaxing. I'm your host, Doug Bubbler, and today we're going on a bubbling adventure to one of the most famous thermal baths in the world, the Seichanyi Thermal Bath in Budapest, Hungary. Get ready for some hilarious tales and mind-boggling facts that will leave you itching to take a dip in these majestic waters. But before we jump right in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's get our soak on. Okay, let's start with a fun fact to get you hooked on the Seichanyi Thermal Bath. Did you know that this place is so popular that it even has its own party series? That's right. Every Saturday night, they turn this serene sanctuary into a pulsating poolside party known as Sparty. It's like a hot tub time machine, 
but without the funky 80s haircuts. Just imagine dancing to the beats of a DJ while being surrounded by warm, mineral-rich waters. It's the ultimate party for water babies. Now, let's dive deeper into the fascinating history of this place. The Seichanyi Thermal Bath dates back to the 19th century, a time when moustaches were as abundant as bubbles in a jacuzzi. It was named after Countess van Seichanyi, a Hungarian politician and visionary who understood the importance of harnessing the healing powers of hot springs. Legend has it that he was so passionate about thermal baths that he used to make important political decisions while soaking in the tub. Talk about getting your priorities straight. But enough chit-chat, let's talk about the baths themselves. The Seichanyi Thermal Bath is home to a whopping 18 pools. It's like a water park on steroids, minus the splashy slides. These pools are filled with mineral-rich thermal water, heated naturally by the Earth's warm embrace. The temperature of these pools varies, so you can choose between a cozy warm bath or a scalding hot soak that'll make you feel like a human dumpling. They say that soaking in these mineral waters can do wonders for your skin, so if you're tired of your dull complexion, this might just be the fountain of youth you've been searching for. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the stunning architecture of the Seichanyi Thermal Bath. Prepare to be blown away by its grandeur and elegance. The bath complex features a neo-baroque style with intricate details and ornate decorations. It's like stepping into a time machine that transports you back to the days of old world opulence. You might feel a sudden urge to wear a top hat and twirl a cane while sipping a cup of Earl Grey. But please, refrain from doing that. The staff might give you some funny looks. Oh. And did I mention that the Seichanyi Thermal Bath also offers saunas? Yes, you heard me right. After your relaxing soak, you can sweat it out in a traditional Hungarian sauna. Trust me, it's not your average sauna experience. Picture this, you're sitting in a wooden cabin, surrounded by the intense heat of stones, and being smacked with a birch branch for good measure. It's like a spa treatment and a Viking battle rolled into one. If you're up for a challenge, give it a try. Just don't forget to hydrate afterward. You don't want to become a raisin, do you? Now, I can't wrap up this episode without talking about the Seichanyi Thermal Bath secret weapon, the chess players. Yes, you heard me right. There's a dedicated group of regulars who gather at the outdoor pools to play chess. These folks take their game seriously and there's something oddly satisfying about moving chess pieces while up to your neck in warm water. Who knows, maybe the thermal waters have magical powers that boost their strategic thinking. Or maybe they just like to challenge their opponents while pretending to be mermaids. Either way, it's a sight to behold. Well, my fellow soak seekers, our time at the Seichanyi Thermal Bath has come to an end. But fear not, because I'm sure we'll meet again in another episode of Soak and Joke. Remember to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you have any favorite thermal baths you'd like us to cover in future episodes. Until next time, stay bubbly and keep those towels fluffy. Hey there, welcome back to another exciting podcast of Exploring the World's Hidden Gems. I'm your host, Humphrey, and today we're diving into the heart of Budapest, Hungary, to unravel the mysteries of the West End shopping mall. You better buckle up because this is going to be one heck of a shopping adventure. Now, before we jump into the marvelous world of West End, let me drop a little known fact on you. Did you know that Budapest is often called the Paris of the East? And just like its French counterpart, this city knows a thing or two about fashion and shopping. All right, let's get right into it. As we step inside West End Shopping Mall, we're immediately greeted by an architectural marvel. This place is massive. It covers an area of over 1.5 million square feet, making it one of the largest shopping malls in all of Europe. 
Seriously, you could fit a herd of unicorns in here. As we navigate through the bustling aisles, it becomes clear that West End has something for everyone. Are you a fashion enthusiast? Well, hold on to your socks because this mall boasts over 400 stores, offering everything from trendy international brands to local Hungarian designers. If clothes are your thing, you'll feel like a kid in a candy store here. And hey, don't forget to grab a selfie with those designer mannequins, they have a surprisingly great sense of fashion. But wait, there's more. Picture this, you've been shopping all day, your feet are tired, and hunger strikes. Fear not, my friends, because West End has got your back. The mall is a food lover's paradise, featuring a mind-boggling array of restaurants, cafes, and food stalls. Whether you're in the mood for a juicy burger, mouth-watering Hungarian cuisine, or some exotic sushi, you'll find it all under this magnificent roof. They even have a dessert section that could tempt a dieting superhero. All right, let's talk entertainment. Now, I know what you're thinking, Humphrey, I can shop and eat anywhere. What makes West End so special? Well, hold on to your shopping bags because this mall houses a whole world of entertainment. They've got a multiplex cinema, complete with the comfiest seats ever. Seriously, they're so comfortable you might doze off during the movie. And if you're feeling adventurous, head over to the indoor go-kart track. You can race against your friends, fulfill your need for speed, and burn off those extra dessert calories all in one go. Now, here's a little secret I want to share with you. West End Shopping Mall is not just a place for shopping and fun, it's also a treasure trove of unique experiences. Inside, you'll find the Hungarian Railway History Park, where you can step back in time and explore vintage locomotives and railway memorabilia. It's like taking a train to the past. As we reach the end of our shopping spree, it's time for me to reveal the grand finale. Brace yourself because West End Shopping Mall has a stunning rooftop terrace, offering breathtaking views of the city. It's the perfect spot to take a break, sip on a refreshing drink, and admire the stunning architecture and vibrant life of Budapest. Trust me, folks, you won't want to miss this jaw-dropping experience. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the West End Shopping Mall in Budapest, Hungary. It's a place where fashion, food, entertainment, and history collide, creating a shopping experience like no other. So, the next time you find yourself in Budapest, make sure to check out this retail paradise. I promise you won't be disappointed. That's all for today's podcasts of Exploring the World's Hidden Gems. I hope you enjoyed our journey through West End Shopping Mall. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss an adventure. Until next time, stay curious, stay adventurous, and keep exploring.